In the quickest and easiest terms possible, Rolle's theorem says that if we have some function and that function has the same y value at two different x values, then somewhere in between those two x values, there has to be a horizontal tangent line to this curve. So try to draw any curve in between these two points and you'll notice that you'll find a horizontal tangent line. Now there are some conditions here. Um, the function has to be continuous, meaning I can draw it without picking up my pencil and the curve has to be differentiable as well, meaning there aren't any cusps or corners or anything like that. The only other condition is what I said before. Uh, the two y values on this interval, on the two ends of the interval, have to be the same. That's what guarantees that the function will have a horizontal tangent line. That means a slope of zero tangent line somewhere in between these two points. Basically, it's like the what goes up must come down theorem. So we're asked to verify that this function on this interval satisfies the conditions of Rolle's theorem. The first condition is that this function is continuous on the given interval, and that is true. This is a polynomial, and polynomials are always continuous. The next condition is that this function is differentiable on the open interval 1 to 5. Um, yes, it is differentiable. We would get 2x minus 6 as the derivative, and that is continuous uh, everywhere, not just on 1 to 5. So this condition is met as well. The third condition is that the y values of the given function have to be the same on the endpoints of the interval. So the question is, is f of 1 equal to f of 5? Well, let's see. f of 1 is, so I'm getting that f of 1 is negative 3, and f of 5, 25 minus 30 plus 2 is negative 3. So the y values on the two endpoints of the interval are the same, so the conditions of Rolle's theorem are satisfied. Now, of course, that means that between these two x values that are given, there must be a horizontal tangent line. Uh, let's find the value of x where that happens. So we need to take a derivative. We know that that's 2x minus 6, and we're going to set that derivative equal to 0 because we said horizontal tangent line. That means the slope of that tangent line is going to be 0. And we can see that solving for x, uh, we're going to add 6 and divide by 2. Uh, we get x is 3. Of course, if we wanted to be a little bit more technical about this, maybe we would have said f prime of c and used c as our variable here. And since the original question asked us uh, to find a value of c, such that f prime of c equals 0, uh, maybe this is a better answer than saying x. Okay, that does it for this problem. We're going to extend this concept to the mean value theorem next.